hello viewers in this video i'm going to work out question 19 a and b coming from uh, a past paper 2021 grade 12 internal mathematics paper one part a of this question reads find the integral of 6x square minus 2x plus 7 in brackets with respect to x and uh, b reads the areas of two similar cylinders as 64 square centimeters and 36 square centimeters respectively if the height of the larger cylinder is 30 centimeters find the height of the smaller cylinder so to work out the first part we want to find the integral to this indefinite integral given so we'll just apply integration and uh, integration we add a 1 to the index of the x variable on each term and divide the new index. Then, since we cannot calculate the value of c or the constant, we are going to add a c or a letter c to the equation. So, the first part of this question, for the first part, We'll do the following. So first of all, we're going to start with uh, writing down the question given. So we want to find the integral of 6x squared minus 2x plus 7 in brackets with respect to x. So for this, we'll also introduce y here, y equal to, since we want to find the equation or the original equation. So, in the next stage, we're going to write y equal to, so when starting the process of integration, we are going to remove this symbol. So, in the next stage, we're not going to write it. So, we'll just go straight away into working out the process. So, for the first term, it will be 6x to the power 2 plus 1. And y, it is 2 plus 1. This is because the process of integration we add and also divide by the new index so 2 plus 1 then the next term it will be minus the coefficient 2 then x so x if it is written like this then it means it has got power 1 so power 1 then plus 1 over the new index which is 1 plus 1 then plus on 7 on 7 there's no x variable what we can just do is introduce x now the x is going to have power 0 because x to the power 0 is 1 so 7 times 1 is 7 so we are going to introduce 7 x to the power 0 so this just means 7 times 1 because x to the power 0 is 1 then introduce plus 1 and divide by the new uh, index so 0 plus 1 and then the whole thing introducing plus c so plus the constant which is not known and the next stage we're now just going to work out the fractions given so we're going to write the following y is equal to so we start with maintaining 6 then we say x what is 2 plus 1 on the index this gives us a 3 over below here the denominator 2 plus 1 also gives us a 3 then minus 2 x 1 plus 1 gives us a 2 over 1 plus 1 here also 2 then plus 7 x 0 plus 1 gives us a 1 over 0 plus 1 a 1 then plus c c then we can simplify here 3 can go into 3 and 3 can go into 6 2 here 2 can go into 2 and 2 can go into 2 1 there so 1 into 7 is just 7 so what we're going to have is y equal to so on the first term what we are getting is 2 x to the power 3 minus here since there is a 1 so we'll just say 1 times x to the power 2 this gives x to the power 2 then plus 1 into 7 that is just 7 
and x to the power one is just x then plus c c so this here is our answer for the integration that we've been given so this is our first part we now go to our second part of the question which is 19 b So on B, to find the height of the smaller cylinder when the two areas of the cylinders have been given as 64 square centimeters and 36 square centimeters and also the height of the larger cylinder has been given as 30 centimeters, we are going to use the areas given to get the scale or the ratios of the cylinders and to do that we are going to apply uh, square roots on the values given, that is the areas and then we are going to cross multiply to get the height of the smaller cylinder so what we're just going to do is first of all start with uh, applying square root on the values given that is the areas to get the scale or the ratio of the cylinders so b i'm going to apply the square root on the first value given which is for the larger it's 64 to square root of 36 which is the uh, area of the smaller cylinder so then what is square root of 64 square root of 64 gives 8 then square root of 36 gives 6 so we can reduce this ratio we can reduce this ratio to since there's a number that can go into 8 and 6 that is a 2 2 into 8 that is a 4 2 into 6 that is 3 so meaning this is our ratio in simple terms or in its lowest form so this is the ratio that we're going to work with 4 to 3 so meaning that uh, these two cylinders are in the ratio 4 to 3 so the big one has 4 this smaller one has 3 so then if the height of the bigger cylinder is 30 centimeters what is the height of the smaller cylinder so Working with the ratio, what we're just going to do is this, working with the ratio, so we're going to say 4, since this is the ratio for the bigger cylinder, is equal to 30 centimeters given. So this is the height of the bigger cylinder. And then the ratio for the smaller cylinder will equal to x, since this is what we're calculating for, height of the smaller cylinder. And then we are just going to cross multiply so x times 4 gives us 4x equal to 3 times 30 so we are going to divide to find x we divide by 4 both sides and this is going to give us on the left side 4 into 4 that's 1 1 times x gives x equal to uh, there's a number which can go into 4 and 30 so we just say 2 into 4 that's 2 and uh, 2 into 30 that's 15 here so this means we're working with 3 times 15 over 2 what is 3 times 15 over 2? So 3 times 15 gives 45. Then divide that by 2. So half over 45 is uh, the same as 22.5. And this is because if you divide 2 into 4 gives 2. Then 2 into 5 twice so two remainder one so you put a point and add a zero and that would mean that two into ten will go there five times so 22.5 centimeters is the height of the smaller cylinder so 22.5 centimeters all right, so that is our solution to part B of question 19. 
okay so thank you so much for watching this video and look out for question 20 in my next video from this paper